Four touchdowns in the middle. All right, guys, over here. Uh, just, first of all, congratulations on the big win. Um, Ecom, just got to ask, I, you could argue that was game of the play, yeah. or sorry, game of the night, there, or play of the night. Can you go over what was going through your head when you got your hands on Tate's ball there? Oh, um, you know, I was thinking go to the house. But, you know, at first I was running, I was like, all right, go up the sideline. Then I kind of like, switched and I don't know what switched into my mind to tell me to cut back. Should have stayed on the sideline and just outran them because I got some speed, but cut back and ended up getting tackled, gave our offense the time to go down there and score again and give us some time to recuperate on defense. And that play really set up the offense, Shevin. Cedric, can you talk a little bit about, about that pass, the connection? It looked like a big time throw for you guys. Shevin, can you talk a little bit about being in that moment? Um, it was just a regular play. Um, I went front side, uh, it wasn't open, looked back side, and I saw Bird open. And I just had to throw the ball and accurately and just touched on. I know you like to stay ready, but how prepared were you to come in at a moment's notice tonight? Um, I was prepared the whole game. I was seeing my mental reps, just um, looking at the play was and watching the defense, and I was just ready. And Cedric, just have to ask, uh, Record night tonight for you, for you, tight program, single record with touchdowns in a single game. Can you talk a little bit about going up against Arizona's defense? I know that was a big uh, matchup tonight. I mean, I feel like um, the coaches did a great job of preparing us to read their defense. And then everything they prepared us for, they, we, they came out and ran it. So we could, it was easy to like read what they were in. So, I mean, our, our offense is like option routes. So basically, if they play a certain defense, we have we have to run this route. So it's basically we were just me and the quarterbacks are just on the same page. You know, Shevin uh, just did a great job of throwing me open, um, and it was just amazing, really. And Cedric, last question for me. Just want to ask, uh, you guys were kind of big underdogs coming to this game. Kind of put the nation on notice a little bit, beating, taking out a, a Pac-12 team like that. What do you want the nation to know about this Hawaii football team? Yeah, Hawaii football is back, really. Yeah. So that's really it. It's, we're not like pushovers or anything no more. Hawaii football back. Yeah. Uh, Cordero, uh, was it, did he, Coach Rollo just come up to you and say you're coming in the fourth quarter? What was that conversation like? Uh, did you have any idea or were you kind of surprised at that point? Um, they just said um, warm up. And when I was warming up, they told me that I'm going in the next drive. How much do you think that experience last year in these situations were, you know, clutch situations, you came in and did the job. Uh, did that make you feel a lot more comfortable out there today because uh, we had last year? Mm, didn't really do anything. It's just, I was just doing my job and um, getting prepared the whole game. And, um, and my O line, they did good. Um, they gave me time, and my receivers made, made my job look easy. You just kind of talk about the guy next to you, uh, his performance today. It's pretty special. Uh, you watched it, and you got to see it on the field at the same time. Uh, just kind of talk about him. Um, he's a baller. Um, he got open. And I just had to put it in the right spot, and he was open the whole time, and I just threw it. Talk about the final play on the game. On defense, you guys know you got to make the stop, keep him out of the end zone. He's taking off running. Does the game, does, did it almost seem like slow motion, like somebody get this guy, he's running? Well, uh, you know, initially the DBs were playing deep, we're playing the pass, and, you know, we're expecting him to try to heave it up into the end zone for a big play. And then you just see him taking off running and cutting back across the whole field. And it's just like, we got to get him down before he gets to this end zone, no matter what, because we can't send this game into overtime like this. So we finally got him down. You know, we closed in. Everybody just started closing in on him. And he, he eventually got down at the one. Uh, so, you know, after tonight's game, defensively, what, what do you guys need to improve on? What did you see out there? What are some adjustments that you guys can make for next game? Oh, uh, we definitely need to improve on sudden change, how we come out for that. Uh, I feel like we played a really good game whenever, you know, offense was going down there scoring. But whenever, you know, there was a turnover or something that happened, you know, defensively we came out there and we obviously didn't have the right mindset. and we'd let them drive down or score, and we got to do a better job of playing defense when they come out with a sudden change.